We're, we're obviously very disappointed, embarrassed, and, and hurt. And, and the players involved are. They're, they're very remorseful. They're very sorry. They're, their moms are upset. They're sorry. You know, they're embarrassed. It's, it's, you know, it's nothing that we're proud of. But these kids, I see them every day. I see their work. I see their dedication. I see the effort they put in in a three-hour practice. And then that morning at 530 with an hour and 15-minute lift and going to class all day. Uh, you know, it's more to these young men than just that few guys on the video. And and when every one of them gets lumped into one word, uh, you know, you have a hard time with that as a dad. And I think we any any father worth his merit would not want anyone uh, calling his whole family or his whole kids at home something that he didn't believe in that they were not. And um, I just believe in our players. We've we've made some mistakes. We've admitted it. We've owned up to it. We're going to correct them, and we're going to make sure they don't happen again because we want this community to be proud of us, and uh, we want to represent this community with, with class and, and much better than we did, obviously, last week. There was a very emotional response to the video you referenced, and is it the fact that some of the kids on your team may have come from, from rough upbringings or, or tough backgrounds that when the word thug was thrown around, did that bring a very emotional response from you? It, it did, you know, because three weeks ago, we, we buried Kamar Greenhouse's mom. So that leaves him without a mom or a dad. And all these kids didn't have the same luxuries that some of us had. And that's why I guess why I love some of these kids, because they, 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 they've endured and how they've got to this point where they're in college and they're, they're making really good grades. And they're putting forth effort every day, and they're saying, yes, sir, no, no, sir. And you see them opening doors for young ladies, and, and you see the progress they're making as, as men. You, you get really proud of them, and you get emotional, and you get protective of them. And I, I just love these kids to death, and, and I, I want what's best for them. I want them to learn from this also, though. I want the team to learn from this. You know, sometimes experience is the best teacher. And um, this was definitely an experience that will teach them a lot more than if just somebody had said, hey, you need to act right in the locker room. This will go a long ways now, seeing the effects of how it has affected, you know, of their or, or perception within the community. They're hurt. They, they don't want the community to, to disown them. They, they, they love being here in Lafayette. They love this university. They love Lafayette. They love being a part of this community. And they're, they're very sorry, and we're very sorry that this happened. And we, we want to, to show this community that we want to uh, make them proud. And one of the things you said you guys are going to do, you're going to do 1,000 hours of community service. But the part that really struck me is you're going to go to middle schools, high schools, really anyone that will have you to try to help spread this message. And as somebody that covers high school football, I feel like there is – a large majority of the athletic population that doesn't realize that there are eyes on them at all times. We are in a society of exposure where even the safest space, your privacy can be violated. What inspired you to take that measure and what's the goal you want to achieve? Well, who, who better to go talk to someone about these situations than someone that's lived through it and has been a part of it? You know, it's, uh, high school could bring in a speaker to talk about the do's and don'ts of social media, to talk about, hey, how to, how to represent yourself uh, in a private setting or in the locker room and, and the way you represent your school. You could bring in a speaker, but if they have not lived it, they can't speak with it with passion. Uh, but if you've lived through it and experienced it and seen it firsthand, I really think that we can enlighten a lot of uh, athletes across Acadiana at all high school, middle school, of the same uh, trials and hopefully they can prevent them from going through the same trials that we went through because we've lived through it. We know now how to tr avoid it and how to address it. And uh, we really think we can make a difference. And coach, uh, last one on this topic, you not only represent the university, the name on the front of the Jersey, but as the head coach, you also help these young men represent the name on the back of their Jersey. So you vicariously help them, represent the last name of McGuire and the last name of Dunbar and the last name that's on the back of their jersey. How important of a task do you think that is in the whole picture of what you do? 
Well, I think that's one of the biggest things we do, and it's 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 uh, probably the most important, but the the most underrated or unnoticed is taking some young men that come here from all over the country, you know, different parts of the of the country and different backgrounds, and whether they had a, a mom or dad at home or not, and and teaching them how to become a man. And throughout that course of the lesson. You're going to make mistakes. You're, it's hard to make a hundred on every single test in college or high school, and we definitely failed this test last week. But also, are these young men have passed a lot of their tests too and made some really good scores in other areas of their life. And so, it's us as coaches to when they when they fail a test to say, hey, how can we come back and do better on this test next time? And uh, that's the whole thing about being a coach. And, and one day when we're all judged, I, I hope that uh, we're, we're, we're judged more on the men we've developed and those type of victories than, than anything. That, that's, those are the victories to me that are, that are the most important. Coach, last one for you here. You felt the full warm embrace of this community at, at several times. You know how high this community can lift you up. And I imagine this has to be one of the low points. What's your message to the fan base at this point? Because there still might be some that would have deaf ears to whatever message is sent back to them. What would you tell the people that are frustrated or upset or angry? Well, first of all, I take responsibility for what happened in the locker room. That's that's on me, and uh, you know that's not the atmosphere that we want in our locker room. And to be honest with you, uh, we haven't had that atmosphere before. You know, you haven't seen that. We have not had that atmosphere, and we're very disappointed that it happened there. We're very embarrassed, and we're very sorry though. And like I said, we we uh, we know we can do better, and we have done better, and we we're going to do better in the future. And we're sorry that we let our fans down. Uh, you know, we've worked awfully hard to try to build this fan base up and to to make every fan that I come a- across feel like it's the first time I've met them. And I, I try to show everybody enthusiasm. I try to be, be there as much as I can at every event, you know, that I can be at in the community to show support. And because I love this community. It's my home. It's my home. And and I want the best for this community, too. And And obviously, when you let your community down, uh, that that hurts. That hurts within itself, and especially you know when when you know the community is disappointed in you, and now your your family has to sort of feel that. And that's that's uh, you know you, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. And like I said, I, I hope that that uh, this community will will uh, at least forgive the players because they're they have learned from this. They're going to be better from it, and uh, they're a good group of boys that work awfully hard for them. And uh, they're they're going to learn, move on, and be better from it. And uh, we, they all, you know, everybody makes mistakes, including these guys. But they're going to be better from it. All right, well, Coach, I can't speak for everyone, but all I can say is thank you, and I believe in the program. Hey, thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that.